three fire-bellied toads, some crickets, and a green tree frog. So many things, guys. So many. Hey guys, this is Mr. Natural Sanders, and today, boy, have I got a lot of stuff to show you. Right there. See that? It's a freaking fire belly toad. One out of three. There's one over there. One behind the thing. Then we have some crickets they haven't eaten yet. And on this side we have my green tree frog again. But I have a lot of things I've changed. I actually just barely brought in the fire belly toads. Also you can see there's a new plant a couple new plants. One water and one land. Um, what else? Oh yeah, this big piece of driftwood, that sponge thing from the ocean. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot, guys. And obviously the fire-bellied toads, which are actually amazing and really cool to have, because that's actually the original idea. That was the original idea until I got my, uh, green tree frog. But, um, yeah. Also, I think I'm gonna get a, a some sort of snail, uh, down the water maybe. I don't know yet, but I'll figure that out. Also, I kind of want to get some crustaceans and guppies or something to put in there, but I'd have to wait, raise the water level a lot. As you can see, I think the water level actually might have dropped a little somehow. Maybe while it, while I was gone, it evaporated or something. But I'll figure it out. But yeah, I got a lot of new stuff, guys. I got my lamp. I got my crickets. Got my fire-bellied toads. Oh, he's eat he's feasting. Think? No? Okay. Oh, he's feasting. Oh, it's gone. That's cool. I saw um, my green tree frog, Harold. I'm, I need to start calling them by name. I'm just so un not used to that. But Harold, I watched him... Uh, I watched him pounce uh, a cricket... And now I watch this guy eat one. But, uh, it was really cool. They're all coming out to say hello. Yeah. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one.